Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we have a little garden tour for you. It is uh, the beginning of October. And my garden is a mess, a hella mess. So mom and I actually went on a 21 day cruise, which you might have noticed because I've been uploading the videos to YouTube ever since we got back. But between being in Europe on the ship for 21 days, in Europe for almost a month, because we stayed in London for a little bit before, my garden has been severely neglected for over a month, probably about a month and a half now, because it's been probably a week or two since we got back that I've been trying to get back to work and haven't had a time to come out and deal with this. And so I thought, I did, I thought long and hard about cleaning everything up and then showing you the October garden tour, but that is not what my channel and my life is about. I am not showing you only the perfection. So I figured we might as well show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. This is what my garden looks like after a month and a half of complete neglect. And for the most part, a lot of things did really well. I knew after a month and a half, we're at the end of the season, it's October, that most of the annuals would probably have petered out. So a lot of my like super tunias have kind of gone by the wayside without fertilizing and pruning. Um, well, they don't need prune, but they do need fertilized. A lot of the other things, um, a couple of my hydrangeas, one of the, the red one we just planted, it must not have gotten enough water right down here my hose for this section of the garden, I think it must have gotten a hole quite shortly after we left because it is spraying from all the way down here, all the way clear up to the crepe myrtle actually. So the crepe myrtle is doing great. It got extra water, but everything else in this bed has suffered. And I will show you, but everything needs a lot of weeding, a lot of pruning, I'll probably just need to take some of those annuals out. Um, we're not going to be doing too much planting for fall. I am going to be planting some snapdragons. Ooh, a pretty blue jay just went by. Um, some snapdragons, maybe some lettuces or kales if I can find some. I want some of the really pretty purple ones. I'd like to redistribute some lamb's ear. I have some iris to plant, um, some sweet peas to plant, some things that you want to plant in the fall for summer, like um, allium bulbs, iris bulbs. Um, but we're not gonna be doing too much because we're winding down. And I live in Alabama, so technically I can grow things almost year round, but the garden needs a season of rest. I need a season of rest. So we're going to kind of clean everything up, get it situated to sleep for fall and winter. Um, plant some of those things that will give us color throughout the winter and spring months and hopefully a pretty spring show. I really wanted tulips this year, but I never got around to ordering them and they have to be pre-chilled down here in Alabama. So at this point, since I never got them, I'm kind of SOL. And then just cleaning up. I mean, this is my wisteria vine. It's grown all the way out here. Needs to be completely retrained up around the tree. Um, obviously have all the leaves need blown out. I'm going to have to re cardboard some of this area since I never got around to putting down pea gravel or dirt. I'm going to have to wait on that till next year at this point, but we're going to get started. You may notice I also have a table in the garden and that's because mom and I are going to be planting up a bunch of milk jugs. So many tiny greenhouses, um, with some foxglove seeds and lupin seeds and maybe some poppy seeds. A bunch of really pretty things that we will overwinter and then have baby seedlings in the spring to plant out in the garden. So we're going to get started. I'm going to show you everything and then, and then maybe we'll do a little garden maintenance video because I really need at least a solid day, maybe two or three days out here just really weeding, really, as much as the plants need help, the weeds didn't. I have a vine that's trying to take over my entire house. 
Let's get started. All right, so you can see by the shed, a lot of the cardboard has worked well, but anywhere there was a crack, plants have come through. So I need to pull those, pull those weeds, the big ones, the little ones will just smother, and then re-cardboard anywhere there's huge weeds. And I'm not walking all the way down by the shed because by the shed where the water is, is the worst. So this hydrangea, you can see my white one did great. This one seems to have perished, but the gardenia, the iris, even my butterfly bushes seem to be okay. And then there's this situation. So between the weeds and the watermelon that has, without help, the watermelon has to be trained up the trellis. Otherwise it's tending to sprawl out. So it has sprawled out in my absence, but you can see we have watermelon, like, it is working, it's just, it's just in my mess. But look, I think I could pick that one. There's another baby one here, baby watermelon. And then another one over here. So I'm not gonna try to retrain this up the, the trellis this year. I'm just gonna try to clean up around it and it can have this space until next year. Obviously without tending to the rest of the um, stock tank garden has completely gone off, <laughs> except for a volunteer plant and uh, some of my porch plants. Strawberry guy, this one just gave up the ghost. This one's still alive, but I think we're out of strawberry season, so I don't see any berries. My little rose. This is supposed to be a bush rose, and y'all, I just don't think it is. So I might need to get something for it to climb, because it, it's definitely like vining. I might also just trail it up the porch, so we'll see. But, I mean, you can see the weeds are just... I mean, honestly, out of control. But the comb flowers are doing good. That salvia looks amazing, even though he's not supposed to be there. Salvia is supposed to be over here. And most of this salvia grew really well, but it's kind of end of the season. My oak leaf hydrangea is doing fabulous. And I bet next season he will be beautiful. This Laura Padlum bush is great. This vinca, there's another volunteer salvia. I'm, once you put these in, they will repopulate anywhere and everywhere. If you don't want them, don't put them in. Lambs ear over here is doing well. That's good. Hopefully that'll fill in some of the space below the oak leaf. This, uh, this petunia needs a little, needs a little shaping. And then, like I said, salvia. Here's that wisteria vine. <laughs> I cannot wait to see how that looks up the tree, but oh my goodness, you can see. So here's the bush wisteria we planted. And then there's the stick and the stick has gone gangbusters and is up going to the tree and is beautiful. So now we have two plants um, and hopefully, hopefully we'll get, I think there are two different blooms. This is the longer blooms. This is the shorter blooms. I also rescued this Vitex bush from the Lowe's clearance rack yesterday. Mom has one. Mom has two, and they're beautiful. So my Veronica's doing great. My crepe myrtle's doing great. I bet it will be beautiful next year. More salvia. Lamb's ear. This area is kind of hit or miss. So the... Binka. Binka is great. Mum is about petered out, even though it's not supposed to be. Here's the vine. Do you see this vine going up all my gladiola supports? And along the back of my house, like, I got to get in there and get that taken care of before it just takes over my whole house. But cut down all these spent gladiolas. 
this lamb's ear is okay. So this is homestead verbena that uh, actually is growing beautifully, but it never bloomed. Obviously needs more fertilizer. My little hydrangea is about done for the season. Has a few more blooms though. And then some of my lambs there, I think, must have gotten too much water while I was away because some looks amazing and some looks like this. And there's another one over there that's really bad. I'll show you where I obviously need to just come in. And, oh, my shadow is killing this whole video, isn't it? And pull out all that dead underneath so that the alive portions have room to grow. And then... This area is very disappointing. It was great last year where when these foxglove died back, the gomfrina came up. But for some reason, like you can see over here, the gomfrina on this side went ham and looks amazing around this tree. And that's what it looked like last year right down there. But for whatever reason, see my poor little hydrangeas that didn't make it. This gumfrina just didn't take off this year. And so it just looks awful. But, you know, you win some, you lose some. And it might have done better with some help, but I doubt it. And then these zinnias were supposed to be the short, like, two-foot-tall variety. And they are huge. So I will be planting them. I have more seeds of this variety. I will be planting them at the back of the garden next year not the front but you can see this little guy how he's bent over that a uh, leak from the hose all the way down there by the orb and the tripod came clear up here hit the crepe myrtle and ended here and it just it bent the xenia all the way over oh man all right so pentas are looking good some of the vinca looks good these lambs here obviously love their lives. Got a little volunteer Xenia. He's pretty. Not supposed to be in the rocks. But, you know, I'll take it. These Supertunia looked great even two weeks ago when I got back. But they are they are just done for the season. I might replace them with mums. And then there's the rest of the garden. So some of these things look okay. Some look awful. Makes me very sad, but let's get into it. So my hydrangea bush is okay, but it's not as full as it was. And you can see right here in front of it, I had a whole patch of pink salvia that just seems to have disappeared. Vinca. And then blue salvia that looks okay at the top, but is real stringy at the bottom. And then I had a super tunia here that has petered out. Obviously, my crepe myrtle has petered out for the season. Bunch of these vinca cone flowers have petered out here. Another homestead verbena that's not blooming. A win, apparently paper plate plant, is this butterfly bush looks a freaking amazing like it is love being its life i am very 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 happy with that so more blue salvia that will come back next year but bunch of iris that will be beautiful next year and glads and my laura pedlam bushes the three here they're doing great they look amazing so you know it's not all bad my Super tunias around here, not so good. The mums are a little stringy, and where the pentas down here around this crepe myrtle are great, the ones around this crepe myrtle are on the struggle bus. This rose is on the struggle bus. This butterfly bush looks good, but not half as good as that one. And then we're just, we're just not even going to worry about this half. I had my peonies that look okay. My verbena back there looks okay. This rose is on the struggle bus. Even like, 
Okay, I must have a water problem down here because even my lamb's ear, oh yeah, down in there, see that big hole? That means something is leaking and spraying all the water there and I bet no water's making it to this half. I bet that's exactly what's happening. But we'll get that fixed and most of these things will bounce back next season. So, but yeah, you can see even back here, my lamb's ear is so little and spotty and it was big and beautiful earlier this season. So hibiscus back here, it never really grew. This hydrangea is small. And then the begonias around this tree just, they are just not doing it. I think I'm going to come in with some coleus or some hostas or some really, really shade loving plants down here because I've been trying shade loving slash sun loving and they're obviously, it's either, it's not, it's not sunny enough. So it must be too shady, which we thought it was half sun, half shade. We'll try shade. So from, from about here on is awful. Here to here is actually not bad, but it's not good. And then, you know, so we're just going to hang out by this butterfly bush because it's the main thing in my garden that looks amazing. And that's it for now. We're going to do some maintenance out here. We're going to try to get the hose fixed. I do think I'm going to replace the entire soaker hose with a drip system since I now have the drip system to all my plants and things on the porch it should be easy to switch over and then I will have less watering issues and less watering issues will help everything. But in the meantime, I will, I will be back. We will do some maintenance and then hopefully the November tour, it won't be perfect. So I'm not replanting this season, everything, but it'll look better. We'll do a, we'll do an update once it's fixed. So See you then.